as y'all can see uh this is my second litter of puppies um i think i'm gonna chill for a little while as far as with the puppies and everything but i just want to kind of give y'all an update uh i got a, i got some of them sold i'm still trying to get the rest of them sold uh but yeah those are the, the new litter of puppies so that's what's been keeping me busy <clears throat> but greetings and salutations shalom family man it's good to be back talking to y'all hope y'all been doing good man i know it's been a little while since i posted i know my wife been posting some videos about the garden as y'all can see over there i'm gonna take y'all through there too um but today i just wanted to bring you a video um as far as to continue the 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 series that i was doing as far as lessons that i learned as a homesteader and this will probably be the last video of this series um but this came this is what came to me right when you pray for an abundant harvest when you pray for you know a lot of crops and a lot of different things to come in and just just the harvest of a lifetime you have to understand with that harvest comes great labor right and so what i mean by that and and, and you know I, I don't really have any bullet points i'm just going based off of uh uh you know just my experience and, and the, the revelation given to me um however when we looking at when we're looking at becoming homesteaders and when we're looking at becoming gardeners and different things like that and, and we want these animals we want this big garden we want these fruit trees you know we just want the whole nine yards because we want healthy food we want to live off the land you see what i'm saying I'll sit down real quick on my porch and we want to live off the land and, and and just all these different things because we've learned as far as you know the stuff that's going in our foods the things that is causing us sickness causing us harm causing a lot of these diseases in our body we're learning all of this stuff and so you know of course we have the motivation to want to grow our own get back to the land get away from society and all these different things get back to the way that the creator created us and that's understandable right and when we're doing that when we're going through this research process and we're looking at what other people their operations <coughs> excuse me we're looking at other people's operations and what they got going on <clears throat> we're looking at their layouts we're looking at their harvest and you know it motivates us to want to get to that whether we want to buy acres of land or whether we just want to have you know just a nice size yard to have a garden or a backyard homestead or even a large scale farm when we're looking at that and we're getting motivation we're just looking at the end result we're looking at the 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 what it produces we're looking at the product right we see that man you know they you know they they provide all of their vegetables or, or 80 to 90 percent of their vegetables their garden is lush they got fruit trees you know they got they got the, the the goat milk where they getting the milk from the goats you know they got the lambs they're raising the chickens they're raising the turkeys they're getting the eggs every day you see what i'm saying they just got the whole nine yards going on they got a well on their land you know they're off grid they got the livestock guardian dogs they got the nice setup <clears throat> which is all great but the thing is we're, while we're looking at the harvest and we're looking at the byproduct we're not looking at the labor right and and that's and you can ask anybody and i was talking to um you know one of my good friends uh uh top who i did the video with as far as with deer hunting and stuff like that and he was just telling me about his garden he was like man we got a lot of stuff growing but man come harvest time it's going to be a lot of work you see what i'm saying and although they will be reaping the rewards of the harvest where they'll be reaping all of the vegetables they'll be reaping whatever they sold in the ground it's still in his mind that man this is going to be a lot of work and that's something that is often overlooked when we just see we see the pretty layout of the harvest right we see the youtubers where they go in the garden and say oh come with me to, to harvest this and that you know or you see the farmers harvesting or whatever the case may be you may just see the end result but the process the process of harvesting those things that you have sold because you sow one seed but you reap you know uh, uh uh many fruits off of that yield you see what i'm saying you don't you don't you don't just sow one seed and receive one one crop you don't do that no you receive multiple crops if you sow one corn seed you're going to receive at least about off of that one corn stock probably about two or three depending on how, how many times you pick it you're going to receive multiple uh products uh, multiple yields off of one seed right so the harvest is going to be tenfold twentyfold sometimes even a hundredfold depending on what you're planting so you have to take that in consideration and and, and, and pace yourself right don't bite off more than you can chew but also just coming into it with the understanding that hey okay 
I know that, you know, this is just, you know, this is just me doing it, you know, whether it's you by yourself or you may have one other person helping you. I'm going to take into consideration that, okay, this is going to be a lot of labor, not only to till and sow and prepare it, prepare the area, but also to reap it. It's going to be work during every single stage. That's what people don't realize. It's work during every single stage of the process of growing your own. You see what I'm saying? So just because harvest time is, is, is a time of plenty, it's also a time of hard work, long nights, long days, all of these type of things, right? Anybody will tell you that, any experienced farmer, homesteader will tell you during the time of harvest, when you're harvesting, it's going to be a lot of work to harvest because not only do you have to harvest it from the garden or from, you know, whatever, wherever you sold it at, but you also have to store it. You also have to prepare it. You also have to do all of these different things to get it ready to make sure it's stored properly and, 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 and you can eat it, right? And it'll last a long time. So all of that comes into play when you're talking about harvesting, right? So that's the word that really kind of came to me as far as, you know, the lesson that I want to teach y'all as far as just, man, understanding that, yes, it's, 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 it's cool to, to have this ambition, but work your way to it because, man, when that harvest come, it can be, it can, you know, like, like in the Bible it says, press down, shaking together, run it over running over right your harvest could literally be running over man you know a lot of times uh, or sometimes rather people may plant a lot of stuff but they may not even be able to harvest it all because it's just too much work and what happens they end up you know letting some crops die on the vine or whatever just letting them die in the field in a garden because they don't have or letting the animals eat it up because you know they didn't have either the right equipment or they didn't have the time or they didn't have just the the, the labor to be able to go out and harvest it all because it was so much or they they couldn't store it all because they just grew too much of whatever it was you see what i'm saying you can grow too much of something too you can get overly ambitious and say man you know what i'm gonna plant two acres of corn but then it's like okay what do you need all that corn for are you and your family gonna eat all that corn okay no you know you you and your family not gonna eat all that corn okay do you have animals that you can feed that corn to no you don't have animals that you can feed that corn to do you know somebody you can sell that corn to you don't have nobody off the off the top of your head that you can even sell that corn to so why would you go and plant just two acres of corn and you don't have enough storage or just the need for it and that's just an example i'm just using that as an example that can go for anything you see what I'm saying? That can go for, man, I wanna get a flock of 30 goats, right? And then it's like, okay, do you have the infrastructure to support 30 goats right now? Do you understand how much the feed will cost, how much land they need to graze if you if you don't plan on buying them a lot of feed? The, the, the dewormer, are you taking all this into consideration? Are you taking into consideration when they multiply now where you bought 30 head of goats, now come, come la uh, kidding season and breeding season, now your flock is going to most likely double. And then you got to think of the fact of, okay, well, you got to factor in, well, how many milk babies or whatever a uh, 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 bottle fed babies because mothers do reject young that's a, that's a that's a fact ha, do you have experience with that do you have experience with orphan goats orphan kids yeah, same thing can go for lambs right do you have experience with that uh, um and, and, and let's say you do have the infrastructure for 30 goats do you have the infrastructure for 60 goats okay if you don't have the infrastructure for 60 goats do you know how to sell those those kids do you know the process of weaning do you know all of that what it's going to take to feed the moms for the nutrition all the money is going to take you see what i'm saying because you have this harvest this is a harvest as well lambing season kidding season that is a harvest that is a product those kids those babies are a product so so you have to prepare for that if you don't have uh uh the space to contain the harvest then then, then, then why are you so eager to try to plant m too much? You see what I'm saying? Trying to bite off more than you can chew. So, so basically what I'm saying is this. Make sure you factor in and, 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 and you know, get hip to, man, what if, what if this harvest is just, you know, too much? Will I be able to harvest it do i have the labor for it do i have the equipment for it do i have the knowledge for it do i have the experience for it because that is that that is something very real because you can have a huge harvest and not be able to uh, uh receive it all because you didn't plan properly you see what i'm saying so 
you know, that's just what it is, man. You know, and, and, and you know, if you have any lessons that you've learned being a homesteader, being a farmer, being a gardener, even being an outdoorsman, you see what I'm saying? Uh, where you just fish and hunt and different things like that. It, just anything pertaining to get, getting back to the land. If you have any of those lessons that you would like to share that you feel like would bless people, man, leave it down in the comment section below, man. And I definitely will appreciate it because, you know, I feel like, uh, uh, a lot of this insight needs to get out especially to beginners because you have a lot of people who are coming into this self-sufficiency uh movement you see what i'm saying who are trying to be homesteaders who are trying to be farmers who are trying to be outdoorsmen who are just trying to get back to the land and provide a healthier way of living for themselves and their families right so i feel like these lessons will bless them right because it's not all just sunshine and rainbows it's not just all glitz and glamour what you see online where you see the harvest and you see the beauty of it and everything like that or you just see the end product you don't see the time that it took you don't see the labor that it took you see what i'm saying you don't see the different things that uh, uh the blood sweat and tears because the you know it's literally i've it's blood sweat and tears that has gone into even just what i've built so far on my land which you know i don't have my whole property fenced off i don't have all my land clear i'm not even 50 percent where i want to be on my sorry y'all i cut off but i'm not even 50 percent of where i want to be on my <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not even 50% where I want to be on my land. But <clears throat> from what I've built so far, from the efforts that i put in so far, from what I've sown so far, I'm satisfied, of course. But that has came with blood, sweat, and tears, literally. You know what I'm saying? Of course, we know the sweat. You know, you gonna, and if you out in the sun, you're going to sweat blood you see what i'm saying you you gonna it's gonna be bleed and you know it's gonna be times where hey man you know you might mess up on something or you might you know get your finger caught on something or whatever the case may be you see what i'm saying or you might scrape something or whatever it's gonna be blood and it's gonna be tears man you know i i feel like people don't really like <clears throat> when people say it it sounds like a cliche but man for real like the tears of frustration the tears of discouragement the tears of 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 just man like you 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 want to do so much but you understand that it's only so much you can do like those it, it's real man it's real just the tears of being let down where you thought okay man you know i thought i was gonna have help from people you see what i'm saying people told me this but they didn't deliver on their promises you see what i'm saying just just a lot of different things man you know just that 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 can happen but but when you do when, when you go through it you're able to find that sense of fulfillment you're able to appreciate more of what you have you're able to be more of a good steward over what you have right and that's why i suggest anybody beginning man take your time learn as much as you can literally man just learn as much as you can because it's going to be a lot that comes with it because this is the thing man it's not it's it's not a sprint man it's a it's a marathon it's continuous I, and i wouldn't even just say a marathon because a marathon even has an end point this it, there's no end point to this there's no end point you see what I'm saying? There's only, you know, you got highs, lows, you got places to where you, you, you're, you're comfortable, to where you're content, but it never ends. It don't end until you die for real. You see what I'm saying? And then it's gonna go on to your children and their children and their children's children until the time, until the, until the end of the age, until Messiah come back. You see what I'm saying? But it, it, it you know, it's, it's, not, it's not gonna end. You see what I'm saying? So pace yourself, understand that it takes time learning uh, uh trial and error all these different things but but fall in love with the process excuse me y'all i had something on my lens fall in love with the process fall in love with the everyday routine fall in fall in love with the the the, the mundane tasks fall in love with the tediousness all of these different the small things fall in love with the small things man Fall in love with just watering your garden. Fall in love with just walking your land, feeding your animals, you know, building a, a, a chicken coop, putting up a fence, putting up a structure, you know, being out in nature, breathing the air that the Most High has granted us to breathe for one more time. You see what I'm saying? That wasn't guaranteed. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. And teach your children to enjoy it. Because, uh, uh, this is the thing man when you're when you're when you're seeking out the vain things and vanity you'll never be satisfied but when you seek out the fulfillment after 
things of substance, things of the most high, then you will, you will, you will get that sense of fulfillment. You'll get that sense of contentment. You see what I'm saying? And you won't be constantly searching, searching, searching for something more because you got everything you need right here. And when you realize you got everything you need right here, you're able to steward over it. You're able to steward over it. You're able to make it, you're able to maintain it, make it look good, make it productive, make it fruitful. That's the overall goal is to be fruitful. You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> so with that, y'all, I'm, I'm done. Uh, I was going to take y'all over to the garden, but, you know, we got videos coming out. My wife, she giving y'all updates and stuff like that. But we got stuff growing. We've been harvesting. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm about to fix up my chicken coop, build some more coops, get some more chickens. Because I'm down to one chicken, y'all. I'm down to literally one chicken. Something, you know, my chicken coop, it was compromised. So I gotta go and, and, and fix where it was compromised at uh, so I can get more chickens because we've been buying eggs and y'all know that ain't even us. Uh, and that's been costing money, more money than it need to cost. Um, but you know, those are just plans coming up. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. I just wanted to bring y'all something because I ain't brought y'all something in a while, but expect more videos in the next upcoming months. Summer 2024, we're gonna get a lot done. Uh, summer 2025, we're gonna get a lot done. Just, just, just look out, man. Be on the lookout, man. I appreciate y'all, South Gardens family, man. Like I always like to say, if you give somebody the power to feed you, you give them the power to start you. Peace. Bombs ever back. Yes, yes. Little Dodge in the IRS. Little Haven from the tax man.